I've been testing digital personal knowledge management systems and note-taking apps for over a decade. During that time, one handwriting iPad app really stood out to me, Margin Note. I loved this approach to annotating PDFs, even though it lacked many other features. If you follow me on this channel, you know that Heptabase has become my all-time favorite PKM tool. It combines the best aspects of so many other tools like Scrintle, Obsidian and Tana. And I want to add Margin Note to that list too. I've shown this PDF annotation method in one-on-one -on -one sessions with many of our Paperless Movement members, lawyers, doctors and project managers alike. And they immediately saw its potential for enhancing document research in their daily work. So stay tuned, watch the video until the end and let me know in the comments below if you think this feature could be helpful to your use case too. So in order to do this, let's go back to our top map and let's create another whiteboard. Open up, change it to whiteboard 3, PDF research, I call it. And now let's bring in the PDF and we've uploaded my PhD thesis here in this case. And let's go here and bring this in here. So you can do the same again, go to the card library here and I just filter and I bring in the PDF like this. That's no must but I like to have the actual PDF file in here as well. So like before, this is now a card. It is a PDF type card. And I open up this PDF and I go to the info section on top right here. It tells me that this is appearing on the whiteboard here. By clicking there, boom, it shows me this. So whenever you reference this PDF and other whiteboards, you will have always context already where you looked at this PDF. But now let's bring it on the side panel. So by just clicking here or option enter, when you selected it, it will open it on the side panel. Let's close this side panel here. And now let's focus just on this PDF here. Previously, we already highlighted this and it's already appearing here. So what I can do, I can just hold and drag and bring in the highlights to my whiteboard. And maybe you're already seeing where this is going to because now I can keep scrolling, you know, reading the thing and I say, oh, this is actually interesting. I want to bring this in here. How do I do this? Well, instead of highlighting text, you also have this icon here, which is an area highlight. I can click there and now I highlight the area I want to highlight which is good for images. And now it highlighted this. I can click on it and now I can change the colors, but I also can always add a note as well. So, oh, interesting insights, okay. And now you see I the icon appears that there's also a comment. I click there, I see the, the notes, but again, I can just drag and drop this in here and boom, I have the image here. And now I can have a long form PDF broken down in the key things that I find useful and bring it together in here. And I can start connecting things together as you're used to. And I can say, uh, this is the explanation, for example. Boom. I can go to the info of this highlight. And in here, you see now the connection that we just visually made between the two different highlights appears here too. So now when you have a different PDF file to do additional research, then you would read this way through the different things and you start connecting things together because you always have it visually represented here and you say, oh, this is actually connecting with this. So let's do the same thing here. Let's give this maybe a different color. And uh, this relates to the other thing. And then let's bring this in here. And you see it brings in the image as well. And now I have it this way and I can say, here, this is connected. And yet again, I go to the info of the highlight and I see this. And the same appears now when I go to another whiteboard where I say, for some reason, there's something going on that also fits here. I can show all my highlights as well. So hide all, show only highlights. See, all the highlights I created from this PDF file are appearing here out of context. So, but maybe I know that uh, this is the highlight that actually works on this board too. And as this is a card, it works the same way. It shows me that this highlight appears on two different whiteboards. So with one click, I go to the other whiteboard. I see the context of this. One click, I go here. Or, and that's the powerful thing, if I need more context around this highlight, I have this icon here to locate the highlight in the original source. So when I click there, it opens up the PDF, scrolls to the position where this highlight was made, and then I can just simply keep reading through this 
text and I say, well, there's actually something interesting as well. Now use some text. This is interesting as well. I'll give it a different color. I can click here, add more notes. I can also mention things in the notes here. I say, that's something I made on this date. And now I can drag in the highlight this way. And you see, this is now proper information I created. Once again, I can connect these things visually together. But I also could mention in here as this is now a card and I can keep adding information. So I can also mention a whiteboard, which would be then the PDF research whiteboard, for example. And again, all this appears now in the backlinks here. I have the whiteboard, I have the connection that I made with the other highlight and all these things. So this way you can represent PDF that you're reading through in a complete different way and always go back to context by simply clicking here and then change the highlight and things like that. And this is, in my opinion, so powerful when you start connecting things together this way, because now I might have an email that is related to this highlight. I just visually connect it together because I'm in the thought process here. And whenever I'm back in normal mode and I don't have context, and whenever I open up this highlight for some reason and I want to see more context, I see, oh yeah, there was actually a connection with this email or the other way around when I'm in this email. I see there was a connection with this highlight. I can simply click on this highlight. It opens up the highlight. I want to see where this highlight is located in. I can locate highlight. It goes to the PDF file and opens up the file and scrolls to the point where I created this highlight. Everything is interconnected and that makes it so powerful to really try to use this as your main PKM system and leverage the journaling because now every day you take notes because then on your journal, whenever you go through the days, you see here, oh, actually on this day, I mentioned the date and this actually was added to a highlight. So I click here, it opens up the highlight and the notes for the highlight and I can expand the highlight with more information. And this is really powerful. So after watching, what do you think? Do you use another tool for literature research? Keep in mind, this feature isn't just an isolated workflow. It deeply integrates with every part of the PKM system you built inside Heptabase. If you found this video useful, join our free membership and enroll in the Heptabase Mastery course to truly master Heptabase as your core PKM system. This course isn't just a featured tour. It reveals the golden thread connecting every function regardless of your setup or method. Whether you're into daily note-taking, deep thinking, complex problem solving or research, you'll see how all this can work together inside Heptabase. Plus, you'll automatically receive free future updates as Heptabase evolves, and it does on a regular basis. So check out the link in the description below and I'll catch you up inside the membership. Baby, let's move on. Your productivity.